What is up, gorgeous? Um, listen, I've got a great workout today. It's gonna be kind of lower, bo lower body focused. We're gonna use a lot of bands. So grab your short bands and have some dumbbells off to the side. I've got just a pair of seven and a half pounds, but don't base your weight off of mine, especially this week, please. I'm like three weeks post COVID and still really feeling tired quickly when I try to work out. Uh, so especially with weights, I don't know if you have had the same issue or not, but it's crazy. So we're gonna do something totally awesome and effective with these bands. We're gonna work that booty, our lower body, a little bit of, you know, upper body, but uh, yeah. So grab your bands, um, grab your weights. If I were you, I'd grab like a five pound, seven and a half if you have it, 10 up to maybe 12 or 15, depending on where you are right now. And uh, grab the heavier ones when you feel like, you know what, Tori, I think I could go a little harder. I think I am feeling like I need more. Please. <laughs> Let's take a big deep breath. Usher in that strength and confident and stillness. That beautiful energy. All right, now I wanna start with our little band. Just right on top of the feet. You can just step right over them, like so. And we're gonna bring it down, so just squat down a little bit. I want you to really feel this in your hips. The gluteus medius. And we're gonna step to the side four times, three and four. Keep that band tight so that you're constantly feeling it on your hips. Three and four, good. One, two, three, four. One, good. Two, three, upright. Everything is upright, chest, right? Maybe sink just a little bit lower with those hips, bend those knees just a little bit more. Two, three, four. We're warming them up, right? One, two, come on, sink a little lower. Three and four. And one, two, three, four. A couple more, one, two, three, and four, other side, last one, two, three, hopefully you're feeling this in your hips, oh baby, <laughs> all right, keep that band right where it's at, <sighs> now I want you to bring that knee up and back, other side, up and back, up and up, let's go to eight, up, there's one, two, and two, there's three, four, feeling this all up and down your quad, oh yeah, <laughs> me too, all right, two more, there's seven, and seven, last one, eight, and eight, all right, let's bend it down just a little bit more, and step it, step, Step four and down. Notice I'm sinking just a little bit more. Try to keep that chest up. One, two, three, four. Ever notice if you're really trying to work on your booty, especially your glutes, you might feel like you're doing everything under the sun. You're lifting heavy. You're really concentrating on trying, focused on that but, right, and you're not seeing results, you're not seeing any change. Uh, you know, unfortunately, sometimes when we sit a lot, our glutes kind of start to fall asleep. We gotta activate them before we work out. This bands, band stuff is awesome for activating your glutes so that when you get right into it, when you go into the heavier stuff, guess what? <laughs> you're really making some changes. You're doing some damage. <laughs> All right, last one, this side, one, two, three, and four. Oh, 
waking it up. Okay, let's do some of those knees, just eight reps each side. Bring it up, one, two. Good. There's four halfway, five, six, last one, eight. Breathe, let's breathe. Let's bring it down to the ground, shall we? I want you to have your weights off to the side. If you really wanna push those glutes, have your heavier dumbbells off to the side. But again, you do you, right? I want you to bring this band, slide your feet through it, and let's just put it just right above the knees. We're gonna come down onto the ground. Now we're gonna, not gonna start quite yet with the weights, if you've got them. Trust me, we can do plenty of damage with uh, just the bands. But lay, your, lay flat on the ground, bringing those feet up towards your tush-tush. Feel that resistance, bring it out square, and lift. Hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Now I want you to flare those legs out for 12. One, two. Notice I'm not bringing my knees inwards, I'm just bringing them back to start. So you're feeling that constant tension, right? There's six, seven, Eight, nine, come on, 10, two more, 11, and 12. Slowly bring it down, lift, flare, down. Up, flare, and down. Bring it up, squeeze, flare. Don't rush through it, flare. Calm, cool, and collected. Out, and down. Lift those hips, flare, and down, five more, bring it up, and down, slowly bring it down. There's two, bring it up, flare, and up, flare, good. Bring it up, last one, flare, and down. All right, single leg, so keep that band just where it's at. One leg <sighs> comes up like so. Whatever feels comfortable. If you want to straighten that one, bend it. I like to keep it bent. Now keep that foot next to your glutes and bring it up. You got it? For 10. All right, bring it down. And one, two, three, squeeze, four, halfway there, and squeeze. I love doing single sided exercises because if we have imbalances and one side is compensating for the other, well, we're never really gonna figure it out until things start hurting, <laughs> right? So let's bring it up, squeeze, you ready for 10? Squeeze, all right, bring it down, and one, two, three. You'll notice as you bring that knee further away with the band, right, you're making it just a little bit harder and squeeze, and up, there's three, two, and one. Okay, now I want you to grab your dumbbells, but stay on the ground. We're just gonna add a little zhuzh. Bring those weights on your hips. You can either put them up like this, or you can put them up here, just whatever feels comfortable. Now bring those feet up to, your, up to your glutes. Make sure they're even, okay? Don't overdo it. Don't try to get extra credit by, you know, going hump in the air. We don't want to hyperextend. All right, bring it up, flare, squeeze, and back. Up, flare, down. Bring it up, flare, and down. Good. Flare. Slowly bring it down and up, down. Breathe and down. Four more. Bring it up. Slowly bring it down. Up. Two more. And down. Bring it up and down. 
Just stay right there. All right, let's bring those knees up. Both knees. Both knees, bring those arms out. I want you to push out 10 reps. Let's push it up for a press. And two, keep that core tight. Three, four, squeeze that belly button into the spine. Five, and six, seven, and eight. Come on. Nine, 10. Last one. Hold those arms straight up. Bring one leg straight and back. And down. There's one. One leg and left. Are you really feeling this in your lower abdomen, right? Core and other side. Bring it down and down. Five more each side. One and one. Keep that belly button into spine. Come on. Core stays tight. Yes. Holding these weights is just doing a little extra. Making our core engage just a little bit more down and down. Okay, two more. One and one. Last one. Two and two. Stretch it out. All right, now I want you to bring those hips up. You got that band, right? You feeling that band? Bring those knees nice and wide. I want you to hold that glute bridge. Hold those knees nice and tight. Bring them out so you're feeling that tension. Now just hold it right here. Hold, hold, hold. 10, 9, 8. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Don't drop those hips. Now bring those arms down and press and press. All right, eight more. Here's one. Keep those glutes tight. Two, three, and four. Breathe into it. Don't rush. I'm telling you that and myself, right? Two more. Last one, down. All right, let's do one more set of the core. So if you need to fix your little band, do so. Bring those arms straight up, straight up. 10 reps, okay? Down, there's one. Core is tight. And two, three, Getting ready for that sexy summer, right? Summer bod is made in the winter, is that what they say? Or the spring? Or as we like to do year round. <laughs> Good, down. One, and down, one more. Nice work. Shake it off, shake it off. Okay, let's bring it up to our knees. Up to our knees. Let's not lose the band quite yet. Just gonna. Bring the band up kind of mid-thigh now, though. So it's not too much in our way. And grab your dumbbells. We're gonna start on our knees, and we're gonna go up, up, down, down. We've done this plenty of times before without the band and the weights, but let's go. So switch off knees. So bring your right, right, down, down. Now left, 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 down, down. You really want to focus on keeping that torso up and staying in that squat position. You're not coming all the way up, which makes it so much harder, right? Breathe. Yes. Other side. One more each side. Up, down, down. Other side. Up, up, down. Good. All right, we're just going to keep that band right there since it's doing us a lot today. One weight or two, your choice. 
feet are behind you, you're on the tops of your feet. All right, you're a board. Straight as a board. And I want you to bring it back. Nice and flat. Slowly bring it up. What are we doing right now? We are streamlining the front of our quads. Streamlining, think of it that way. But I want you to only go back as far as you can because we all got our own issues, right? You might have knee issues. You might not be strong enough to just go all the way back, but guess what? You're doing just as much good going back as far as you personally can. Some of you can go all the way back, as a matter of fact. So bring it back. Slowly bring it up. Good. Now five reps. Bring it back. There's four. Back. And three. Now instead of quitting, just drop the weight. Or if you need more, please, by all means. Here's two. Really feel that in those quads. Bring it back. Nice. Let's take a second, breathe. Well, hi, Peps. What are you doing, honey? You gonna work out with us? You wanna work out? Hold on, okay. Oh, they're both here now. All right, let's do that again. Eight reps. Feet are flat. Bring it back. Straight as a board. Bring it up slow. Don't rush. Don't rush coming up. Nope. Nice and slow. St feel that stretch in your quads. Long, lean, machine, strong. Good. Bring it back. Bring it up. Slowly bring it back. And up. One more here. Slowly bring it back. And bring it up. How you doing? You're doing awesome, I know. Okay. I want you to bring that band down to your ankles now. I told you it was going to be a lot of man today. <sighs> Breathe. Grab those weights. Let's hold them right here at chest. Feel the tension in that band. Feel it in your hips. Bring it down and up. Okay. We're going to go down and press for 10. Ready? Let's go. Down. One. <sighs> chest is upright. Try to focus on not letting those knees fall in when you squat. Mine do often, that's why I'm telling you. And push. There's five. All right, five more. Five. Keep that core tight. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Breathe. Okay, not sure what my girls are doing right now, but. Let's do that again. But breathe, we don't need to rush. Okay, you need to have your weight. Only you know if you do, right? Bring it in, palms face your chest. Knees nice and wide. Bring it down for 10 and press, and press. There's three, breathe, four, five, six, four more, and push, squeeze, up, last one, and up. It's kind of a good full body today. We got going on. Keep that band where it's at. Keep it where it's at. Keep those legs nice and wide. I want you to bring it down. Hold it right here. And step. Step twice. Step the other way. I feel like my band is already stretched out just from the beginning of the workout. Other side. 
breathe, good. Step, and step, step, and step. Now come to the center, lose the band. We've had enough of you, you out. Bring it back down. Let's go loopity up and up. It's like a little dance move, but we're working out. This is probably as good as my dance moves are. <laughs> and up, keep that chest up. Really dig with that heel. That heel right here, yeah. That heel. Dig. Really feel that in your glutes? Yeah, me too. Dig, up and up. One more each side, bring it up and up. <sighs> nice work, okay, we're almost there. I want you to bend it over. Put some weight into those heels. Lift those toes up if you have to, just a little bit. Now sink a little bit lower. The lower I'm sinking, the more I'm working the glutes and the hamstrings, right? So we're doing two things at once. We're working our lower body. Now we're gonna bend over just a little bit, bring those elbows up and up. We're working our back and our glutes and our lower body. Keep that core tight, up and squeeze. Five more, four, sink a little bit lower, three, two, and one. How you doing? Breathe. Okay. Let's take some big deep breaths. Let's please enter in some peace and love and light into all of our lives. We could all use more of it especially right now, man. Sometimes it's really hard, right, to not want to fall apart when the world is. But I have to remind myself all the time that it's my duty to bring a little more lightness to the people around me. I'm not saying that always happens, but I try to make that a focus to control what I can, right? That's all we can do. So with me, please just take in three really big belly breaths. And I want you to think about ushering in good, fresh, new energy with every breath. And I want you to concentrate on the things that you want to feel more of in your life today. You wanna feel more love and light and peace? Yes. Confidence? Yes, drive, yes, positivity, yes, okay? All, there's no limit, but just really think about all the things you're ushering in, okay? Fill up that belly with every breath. After the third one, okay, on the fourth one, we're gonna breathe it all in. We're gonna hold it for a second, and I want you to think about moving the energy inside of you around. So sometimes I'll do this, Sometimes I'll tap on my chest. Sometimes right here in the sternum, it's really tight right now. I'll mess around right here. Oh, we need to loosen it up right there. Let that fresh new energy come in, okay? I know this might sound crazy to some of you guys, but and I'm not like a meditation teacher or anything, but it's just something that has really changed my life, and I'm trying to dive deeper into it. Okay. You ready? Old. If possible, only think about what you are breathing in, those things that you want to feel. And that big, deep breath. Only feel like you're trying to fill that belly up with breath, with air. You're moving that energy around. 
and when you come back to center after you let that last breath out, you might feel a little woozy, right? You might feel a little tingly. <sighs> That's good. <laughs> That's shifting the energy inside of you. And it's so simple for us to do every single day. I cannot tell you why I don't do it every day. Um, it's a goal to do it every day, but you know, sometimes I just don't. Sometimes I'll go a whole week with total anxiety and really have to force myself to sit and do this. And then I go, why don't I do this all the time? This is life changing. It's transforming. It's letting go of all the crap and ushering in all the good and all it is is breath. It's pretty nuts. Anyway, I love you. Thank you for joining me as always. Hope to see you soon. Um, well, I know I will see you soon. So go crush it. Belly laughs every day. <laughs> <laughs>